News 19 is always your local election headquarters and election officials preparing for November 5th, making sure this year's elections are secure, safe and fair. A lot of work goes into that process, bringing together the people who make sure polls are open for voters and ballots can be tallied. News 19's Kayla Smith joins us in the studio with more about those preparations. Well, in Alabama, elections are managed at the state and local level, and there are a series of checks and balances designed to ensure our elections are fairly conducted. Madison County has more than 800 poll workers who are undergoing training this week. In addition, poll watchers sent by the individual parties have the opportunity to monitor what's happening at voting locations. If they spot any irregularities, they can report those to the precinct, the county's probate judge and their party leadership, and the federal government has systems in place to protect voters rights. Any cases of threats or intimidation made against voters can be reported to FBI agents stationed in North Alabama for Election Day. John Merrill, Alabama's former Secretary of State, presided over the last presidential election. I think all Alabamians should feel confident and comfortable with the results that will be demonstrated and reported on Election Day. And on Election Day, voters will need a valid photo ID to cast their ballot. That includes a driver's license, Alabama photo voter ID, military ID, or U.S. passport. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on November 5th. If you plan to vote absentee, your county election manager must receive your ballot application by October 29th.